<laughs> hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. I'm still avoiding the Shadow Keep. Yeah, despite Shadow being the name of the DLC, and I'm in the Shadow Realm, and I, I'm picking up these 23 Skidoo fragments, I'm still avoiding the Shadow Keep. I think it's just because it's going to be a rather large and impressive dungeon and so I'm kind of waiting to savor it and I think I've identified a couple of areas thanks to uh, some of your comments and my good friend blind playthroughs trying to kind of steer me in some directions that I haven't gone in or at least revisit some areas that I didn't explore fully and that's what we're going to be handling today but first I thought we haven't talked to Needle Knight Letta in a while and some things have transpired not only have all the NPCs essentially disappeared but also we met St. Trina so perhaps Letta would have some more dialogue? I will follow the horn scent. To have his revenge on Sir Mesmer, there is only one place he will go. The Black Keep. No. No, Sir Letta wouldn't. <laughs> so my build is functionally the same as it was last time. The mace, not a spear, but the uh, twin knight. I just realized it's not called a twin blade it is a twin blade but the twin knight sword sorry the mace the twin knight sword the golden order seal blue gold kite shield repeating crossbow sacred smith script cirque armor is the same the only thing that changed talisman wise is the urge tree favor i had to put this on just to make sure that i was still in medium load i'm unsure about the smithing talisman right now just because only one of these weapons would benefit from it in fact, I'm thinking right now that we change that up. What do we want on? I could do poise. It's not a terrible idea. You know what? Let's do poise. Maybe that'll allow me to get more hyper armor during my ashes of war. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Look at the glow. It's absolutely stunning. Now, a couple of things other than, well, one thing other than where are we going today, but I still need to find this one painting. This one painting is eluding me. The Sacred Tower. Where is that view? Because the Sacred Tower is the one that's behind Bellarat, right? I mean, are those the arches right there? Because typically when you find... No, that's not true. I was going to say, typically when you find the paintings, the solutions are fairly nearby it does kind of look like that but then again so it has those arches and then it has what appear to be a solid wall to the right of it actually you know what hold on hold on i go if i went further south me may oh maybe on that precipice right there that could be. Where is that? That's part of Castle Ensis, isn't it? D hmm. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know how much is worth me going out of my way to find it. Ah, you know what? That's going to be for another day. That's going to be for another day. I may even just look for it off camera and then bring you back when I find it. But the two places we are going to investigate, three if we have the time, is this ravine. This ravine, I have been desperately trying to find out how to get in there. Turns out it's just one turn that I missed in the Alec River Cave. So we're going to start there and explore that. Time permitting, we're also going to go back into the Perfumer's Cave right here, which is where you found the little baby Erdtree sapling. And we also have this little plateau right up here that we need to check out. So, a few spots, but we're going to start in the Alec River Cave. Yeah, this was just a complete miss on my part, if you can believe it. Because from this side of grace, and I did just <laughs> investigate... So we went this way in order to get down to the Cerulean Coast. But all we had to do was turn right. I mean, literally, all we had to do was turn right. 
And you can see we are now in the ravine. <laughs> oh my heaven. So let's go ahead and do the usual thing. First off, we're going to get my lantern on. It's a little... Uh, what do we want to shoot at you? Yeah, we'll go with the twin blades. Wow. Especially with one-shotting. We will hug the walls. See if there are any caves. And then we'll kind of take on the middle. Oh, really? Gonna have to... Get the rats twice. Although if I did a charge R2, I'm sure it would be absolutely fine. This looks like it ought to be something. It's it's not though. Okay, once again, this looks like it ought to be something. Oh, and it's full of rats. And these round rocks. Is this... Is this something? Or is this just still part of the main... Ravine? Okay, still just part of the main ravine. Oh! We got the human flies. Jeff Goldblum would be thrilled. There we are. Get all the things. I like that we're actually seeing enemies that really do kind of make sense. Down here in the humid environment where all of the waste and refuse are being spilled, we find rats, we find flies. Just kind of thematically makes a lot of sense. I don't know how much or how many of these I really need to be killing. Probably not many. I think Torrent just did a little bit of parkour there. That was pretty cool. I wonder when someone's going to... Uh, do an Elden Beast round rock only playthrough. Did did my character just make that hua sound? Because it kind of sounded like an NPC or oh geez or an enemy. Oh, I think it's actually the flies. That makes them even worse. Oh, all right. Our first actual bit of loot here. Silverhorn Tender. That increases our item drop temporarily. Big old crab coming up. Where are we at? Oh, wow. We're nearing kind of the upper end of the ravine. There's some sort of dungeon there. Although, map-wise, it looks like it might either be blocked off or there's just a climb I need to make. Some poor sheep that have probably fallen and just established themselves down here at the basin. All right. I don't think the map actually continues for... Aha! Hello. I see this. All right. What kind of bell bearing is this one? Mushroom sellers. Okay, so white and red flesh. Or just mushroom and red flesh. Okay. I think I did already get one that allows me to buy the white flesh. So, actually, being able to buy regular mushrooms is pretty cool. Hope everyone's okay. Oh, did I just find a cave? I did, mind you. All right, proper to River Mouth Cave. Let's check it out. I'll use the crossbow for just a minute. See if anything fun comes out of it. 
And we've got wolves. Okay, well, I have holy and magic bolts. Golden and magic bone. Let's see what holy does. Not, not terrible, actually. Okay, so one volley, though, is quite a lot. So let's see. I have 74. It does 12 in a single volley. That's kind of overkill. So I'm not holding that button down. That is me just pressing R1 a single time and getting that. Now, is that how it actually reads? Once in ready stance, crank the handle to fire bolt in rapid succession. Ugh, I mean, it's cool, but really you ought to be using this just to proc status effects, I think. Okay, ready for some... Aspect of the Crucible. That's pretty cool. I do like the wings with the twin blade. Tell you what, though. Why don't we... Oh, I can't even use blessings. Okay. Well, let's heal then. Wait, am I, am I taking chip damage through the shield, or maybe my flash just didn't heal all the way? G game. I wonder what's about to happen. I'm trying to. Can you not? Can you not trick it? Aha! I mean, for no reason other than just to see if I could. What do we have here? No, oh, Sanguine Amaryllis. We were finding those up by the Blood Fiend. Hey, speak of the devils. Up by the Prospect Town. Oh, that's a lot of them, though. I mean, I'm not terribly worried about them. My gosh. This would be kind of fun, though, to see if I can get all their attentions. I would like to line them up. Really get good... Uh-oh. Okay. Deal with who we can... Oh, hello. So before we go and deal with that huge room, this should be the little archway that I just ran under, where the wolves were, I think. Are you alone? Sacred bloody flesh. Raw meat soaked with blood, a delicacy of the blood fiends. Temporarily boosts physical attack power and arcane. Whoa, when blood loss occurs nearby, further boosts attack power. The blood is said to have fallen from the formless mother's wound. Never will it dry, never will it rot. Gross. Also, didn't say it was something I could craft. So I wonder if those respawn. Oh, this just brings me back around. Okay. All right, let's go with triple rings of light. Because if I line them up, we should be able to take out several of them with just a couple of casts. There's, there really is just so many. 
Oh my gosh, so many. All right, but actually, you know what? Instead of triple, let's just go Discus of Light. Because we should be able to line them up right here, right? Cool. Okay. Ish. I kind of failing on getting the multiples, but still pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Not perfect, but pretty cool. And was I getting... Good. Nothing is building up in here. Got some more Sanguine Amaryllis. Alright. Now... Uh-oh. What are you doing? Oh, you're you're basically using Moog spell, aren't you? Beautiful. So what do we have up on this little makeshift altar of yours? Well, some sacred bloody flesh. Like the hole with the cascading light it almost looks like I should be able to drop down there. Oh, and we are ready. Let's prepare for this a little bit. Not much. We'll do a blessing. And we'll do golden vow, of course. And let's just go aspects of the crucible. Oh, you're a big one. Whoa. What? May may I try? <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of damage I'm doing. Not bad. Not great. Oh, I forgot about my Mixed Physic. I'm temporarily getting uh, FP back per hit. I thought that would be pretty fun to use, and indeed it is. Let's try it. Oh, that damage is crazy. Yeah, when you are kind of point blank like that, you do some good work. Don't need to... Oh, I recognize that. All right. Wow, that's a big one. All right, nice prayerful strike for some health back. Uh oh Go ahead and heal up again. Charge R2. All right, ready? Oh. No, no. <laughs> I'm trying to get fancy and kill you with my crossbow. Stop it. All right, here we go. There we go. Try to have fun. 
Blood Fiend Hexer's Ashes. Ooh. All right. That might be something uh, different. Use to summon the spirit of a Blood Fiend Hexer. Summoning consumes HP rather than FP. Does cost 500. Goodness. The spirit conducts blood boon rituals with a sacred spear, casts blood flame hexes, and takes a singular pleasure in letting the blood of foes. Long ago, a subjugated tribe discovered a twisted deity amongst the ravages of war, and they were transformed into blood fiend. Uh, the twisted deity has to be the formless mother. The mother of truth was their savior. How very cool. Well, there wasn't much to this cave. It was pretty short, but uh, kind of fun. Yeah, all right, let's go, let's go back to the... Wow, we traveled quite a bit. Let's go back to the Rivermouth Cave. All right, so, playing as before, we're gonna hug the walls. And then... We will also take on the center at some point. Okay, waterfall. Oh, way to hop down, but that's that's this right here, which we have not been able to get to. Waterfall. Nothing behind. Oh, wait a minute. I saw light. Oh, there's light here. Sacred earthworms. And a turtle. Ooh. Okay, not getting far here. Doesn't look like. Just a single cavern. Two-headed turtle talisman. All right, so just the improvement of the turtle talisman, I assume. Greatly raises. So at least, you know, it's not a green turtle talisman plus one. They were slightly more clever. Two-headed turtles are our favorite subject in the land of the tower due to the spiral shape of their intertwined necks. Um, no, actually, believe it or not, that depiction is of just two parallel turtle heads by the way two-headed animals are not completely unheard of in the the world of science actually reptiles i would dare say seem to almost exhibit it more frequently than other groups uh, they don't typically last very long but two-headed turtles two-headed snakes and even two-headed lizards are a thing that have happened many many times people try to raise them to see if they survive but it does not seem that they do for very long at all all right, well, second verse, same as the first. Whoa, what's up with the pile of bot? I mean, I know I already looted this, but. Oh, this is some great storytelling. The abandoned ailing village, which already has tons of bodies, is right above us. So here's where they're discarding of their corpses to get them out of the village. That's great. And that's why all the human flies are here. Which I'm just not bothering to fight at this point. That's very cool. You all know that I am a sucker, whoops, excuse me, for environmental story. Oh, what do we got here? Something? Just single item? Pardon me, folks. I don't even know how much is going to be in. Yay! You know what I was just thinking? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm actually doing some decent damage against you, though. Uh-oh. Try my uh, aspect of the crucible here, and again because right up against your body is going to do some great damage. I think I was right, decent. Uh oh, I know that fire is where it's going to really shine, but. Oh, 
don't die now. He's almost dead. Alright, finish it off. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. And what do we get this time? We got a talisman for the last one we killed. And horn baron. Okay. So we have a... What do we have for tools like that? We have the Omen Baron, I think. So how does this one differ? So we had, yes, yeah, so we got the Omen Baron, the Regal Omen Baron, and now the Horn Baron. This is the lowest FP of all of them. Doll of a Tanglehorn Baron, Doll of a Curseborn Baron, Doll of a Curseborn Baron. From the Urtree's Royal Line. Okay, this one is just a Tangled Horn Baron. Ventful spirits around the castle autonomously chase down foes. Tangled horns are a symbol of spirituality, but most young born bearing the oversized horns made a frightfully early demise. These fetishes are made to memorialize them. I Sorry, but why is this any more interesting than the others? I mean, I will, I'll try it, but just in terms of the story behind it, they're all pretty much saying the same thing. Hmm. All right, so there's that. Uh, we are actually getting very close to where we began anyway. So we might not have m much more in this ravine. And given that we just fought an Ultrated Tree Spirit. I don't know that there's going to be much more kind of in the center. I'm trying to land this just to see if there's... Oh, I can't get up there. No, possibly if you Skyrimmed, but... I don't think they have any intention of people Skyrimming their way up. It's very weird. So I'm using my PlayStation 5 DualSense controller, and I've heard this reported elsewhere. The Blood Fiends, every time they do one of their attacks, oh, I thought this was another cave, my controller rumbles. Even though we're far away, they're fighting up above, I can feel that rumbling. All right, so that's back to the site of Grace right there. And that goes down to the Cerulean Coast. All right, so just a real quick jaunt down the center. Falling skulls aplenty. Just to see if perhaps there's anything I missed, but I'm beginning to suspect. No, because this is where the tree spirit was. Nothing around there. Possibly up on this rock, maybe? Nope. All right. If I get to the point where I see the big crab, we're going to be teleporting out. There's the crab. Okay. So then that's... That's got to be about it. Okay. So that takes care of the ravine for now. So we still can't access that. That's going to happen at another point. So we are going to be heading back to the Hyrule Cross. And we have two spots over here we're going to be looking at. I'm going to be changing it today. I have been scouring a little bit at night and haven't really found anything of interest. But we have the pond right here that had the perfumers in it. And then there's a big pond up here. What are we going to do first? Big pond? Let's go do big pond. I really do want to figure out that painting. <laughs> you can get some cool stuff from those.
Oh, I bet the embers of Mesmer are a lot easier to find at night. And I would like to collect some of those for the fire coils. Oh, okay. So we got bear territory. Boy, am I bad at fighting bears, it turns out. Hunt a hundred and one runes for a bear that had that much health? You should better watch out. There's another bear. Yeah, 101. That is absolutely hilariously low. Oh, big rune bear. Yeah, there's a rune bear in the pond. So let's definitely take care of you so we don't have to fight both of you. Okay. Could you sleep pots? I'll, I'll try out the horn baron, but uh, do I have those eternal sleep pots? Oh, I think I stored them. I did. Oh, wait, nope. I have some of those. Okay. Oh, he's kind of like scary looking. All right, let's go. Oh, and I can summon at least if I need to. Oh, you're a boss. Whoa, you've got horns. Oh, you're sleeping. Okay. Glad to know that that works. <laughs> I think... I hate room bears. Alright, let's start with the critical. And let's go for it. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know what I am going to try? One of my favorites. That damage is absurd. Oh, you use some uh, bestial incantations. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, prayerful strike for some health back. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, the stump is going to ruin it. Not sure how much I agree with that hitting me. Let's heal up though. This is probably gonna be a foolish endeavor. Oh, especially because of that damage. really fun, even if it's not the best. Come on, Mesmer. Sh sol uh, sh soldier, not shoulder. And finish. Cool. Not a, not a very difficult boss fight, but a fun boss fight. 180,000 runes and a pelt of Ralva. The new helm. Okay. Let me guess. It increases your uh, roars. The pelt of Ralva the Great Red Bear, worn upon the head without modification, enhances incantation of what is jokingly called Bear Communion. <laughs> what is Bear Communion? The untreated hide, won at the end of a bloody bout, is just the thing to make a wild bear out of a warrior. I mean... Kind of go for a Davy Crockett vibe. All right, we'll, we'll go with this, because that's kind of fun. Neat. Nice little uh, feel boss there. All right, well, let's do, let's do a loop on this plateau before we go investigate that perfumer's cave again. Oh, 
Goodness gracious, there's still so much. Oh, oh, look, it's that that fort we were looking at from the map. That is a furnace visage right there. I don't know if it's actually dead or if it's just going to wake up when we get there. Okay, poison swamp. Looks like some more grave birds. Nothing else in the pond. That's where Ralva was. See, now to me, that's how you turn a regular enemy into a boss. He did have more health than your standard room bear, but he also had an expanded moveset. He had incantations. He was using some of the same incantations that Garank would use. And I can appreciate that. Mixing it up, making it feel just fresh enough to be worth it. All right. So we're back at the Mesmer Soldier camp. We don't really need to rest. I mean, flask-wise, I probably should. Uh, but let's see. It's down further because it's just on the edge of that cliff. I don't know how I missed something in this cave. It was not very big. If you remember, it had a Miranda Bloom, some Miranda Sprout, and two or three Perfumers, and that was it. I'll just rush in and just take care of the Perfumers. I don't, I don't particularly care about the Sprouts. Okay, there's the Miranda Blooms. Let's get some FP back. Alright, and let's do some... Holy! Not, not amazing. <laughs> I'm not sure who that just helped, if anyone, but... Okay, so here's the little babby herb tree. Got our incantation here. We got a very cl clear exit that I somehow missed. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to think that maybe this was an illusory wall. Oh, gross. Oh, it really is a poison swamp. Alright, you know what we haven't played with yet today? Actually, is it a poison swamp? It very much is, yep. So just in case, I don't have flame cleanse me, so I'm going to throw on my neutralizing bolus. And you know, let's try out our new horn baron. Well, oh, wait a second. Okay. Color me intrigued now. That's homing soul mass. And that is cool. But he's not one to play ball. Okay. Oh, look it. There's multiple furnace visages down there. So that's interesting. All right, no reason not to just ride Torrent. Okay, get some FP back. Oh my gosh, they're so fun. Oh, little toxic mosslings, these adorable things. Someone did link me in the description a, a possible 
biological likeness to the toxic mosslings. I forget what it was exactly. Uh, there's, oh, a forager. But there was, a, it was, a, I think, the largest single cell organism in the world. And yeah, there was definitely a likeness there. Ooh, pearlescent scale. Interesting. Opaline pickled liver. And is opaline pickled liver for magic? Oh, just non-physical damage negation. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really good. All right, let's get in there. Actually. Oh, you need to be better. The repeating crossbow is very cool, and I think it's going to find a lot of fun uses in PvP, of which I really don't participate. What is this? Just a burned out candle? No, we're an upside down skull. <laughs> Grave bird anklets. Oh, hello. Ooh, wait a minute. Was that a combo after my jumping R2? I gotta try that. Jump? R2? No. That was weird. It felt like my L2 did a combo, but maybe I just hit R2 again accidentally. Was there anything special about these anklets? Nope. Wow, this is... Oh, we're actually underneath. Oh, is this going to cross over? This might be our way to a new map fragment, actually. All right. Time for some more triple rings. Beautiful. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Rao base. Rao base? Rao? Rao? Okay, we'll say Rao base. Uh, oh, just, <laughs> like, what is that? No, oh, it's a big horn sheep. All right. Oh my gosh, we actually got an entirely new map to explore, <laughs> including some Mesmer soldiers. Might as well level up, yeah? I still kind of want to pump endurance just to wear more armor options. Yeah, let's get up. Let's get up to thirty. Because also, you know, I just realized if we're using this or if we're wearing this armor, we don't need what we just had on. So I could put on the filig carrying filigree or for funsies. Put on the Crusade Insignia. So I don't know where that goes. Where's the map fragment? Way over here? Should we... Well, we won't beeline it. But we might C-line it. That's, you know, one step below. All 
All right, you know the drill by now. Let's hug the wall. Doesn't mean we're oblivious to things happening in the middle. Furnace visage. Whoa! No! Actually, it's a... It's a golem. Multiple golems. Okay, well, let's go take care of you. Hopefully you go down just as easily as your overland brothers. Twenty-one thousand damage. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you do. Okay, let's rush you now. So effective. A couple of charge R2s. You didn't go down as easily, though. <laughs> you did now, though. Easy enough. Okay. They were loud. Ooh, careful now. It goes down. Oh, that's where the Fogriff catacombs are. Okay. Huh. I see what's going on here. Boy, it's a lot easier to see from up here. I don't know if I'm missing stuff down there, too, by the way. Ooh. These nascent butterflies? <gasps> Interesting. Huh. Nascent butterflies are, are, you know, most closely related, as far as we know, to St. Trina. What connection would St. Trina have with this location when she's locked in a literal vegetative state in the fissure back in the Cerulean Coast? All right. Got a broken spirit spring here. Yeah, there's our map fragment, though. Excellent. Wow. Whoa. Did we just unlock the majority of the rest of the map? The only other one we have now is this. Okay, so is this going to be the actual city of Rao or ruins of Rao, whatever it might be? Okay, I want so badly just to do the shackle trick <laughs> to find the, the rock cairn, but that's nah, got to be nearby-ish. Oh, yep, there's a little set of... Oh, tsh, that was easy. Before we do anything else, let's go investigate this spirit spring. Followed by another spirit spring. Oh, this is cool. This is going up here. I've wanted to get up here because I thought maybe from the fog rift fort we'd be able to get there with the, uh, the walkways. But no, look at this. What do we have up there? I could see an enemy up on the stairs there. Okay. Uh, is it a horn sense killer or horn sense something? Then there's also that. And I see a cave that's going to lead there. In due time. Hold on. What is that? Okay. I think that's a revered spirit ash altar. Wrapping up point was 20 minutes ago, so let's see what's up here. And then we should be calling it apart. Uh, 
That's a mausoleum. Okay. It's our third mausoleum. First one, we fought the Blackdale Knight, who gave us some trouble, but he was also our very first DLC boss. Second one was the Dancer, who was not too terrible. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This... Oh, I think I might have found where the artist is. I think it might be somewhere along this cliff face. No? Oh, don't give up yet. Oh, this looks like the angle. Maybe it's not. Maybe this isn't even the location. Well... Well, drats. Alright, should we go wrap up with a mausoleum? After I keep looking for this artist location. <laughs> Fall off, don't fall off. Is this whole area just for the mausoleum? So that right there, that's the Church of the Crusade. I think it is. I just did a huge loop, and I think that's all there is here. Well, let's see what we get. Northern Nameless? Okay, so that this is our third. We've gotten Western, Northern, and Southern, right? So we're going to get an eastern somewhere over here to complete that, and let's see what we get. Red bear. Wah. Okay. Oh, look! We match! That's actually kind of fun. Goodness gracious! <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? What? What was that? Okay. Barely touched him. Ooh, I think if I use immutable shield against him, he can't cause blood buildup if I'm blocking. Let's let's give that a go. Here we go. Ready? Come on now. That's a lot of stamina still. Nope. Oh my gosh, there's an actual blood incan- or bear incantation. No, that was awful! Okay, if you're gonna do that... Then I'm doing this. 
Don't dodge it. I like that you just kind of ran back into it. All right, ready? We're going to line up a prayerful strike. You're going to be so mad you fell for this. Actually, yeah, you did. Don't you do what I think you're going to do. Oh, right. You can heal. Stop it. Not prepared. Stop it. Oh. Oh, he's good. He's fast. I wonder if I'll get a bear incantation from this. I don't think shield's the way to go. I do like having the Horn Baron going, though. Just kind of catches him off guard. Oh, did I just lose all my... Yeah, I did. Oh, well. No, they missed. Okay, he has no poise to speak of, though. I also should probably focus on dodging into him, I think. Back up, back up. Yeah, I want to get this ready. Just because when he does his bear... I completely, I can, wow. Look at where I was stuck. <laughs> also apologize if it got uh, windy in the microphone. It just got very stormy outside all of a sudden. Yeah, I think he's exploitable, though, with his lack of poise. Heal up. Oh, how did that miss? Oh my gosh. Back up, back up. Heal. My gosh. <laughs> I'm not mad about this fight. Spacing is really bad. Him heal, I'll heal. Oh, 
Oh, come on. <laughs> I want you to roar at me. There it is. No. Oh. Is that really how we do it? I just... <laughs> oh. You're so far away. Back up. Don't you kill me. Run away. Okay, got to finish this off. That's not how you finished it off. Jeepers. He does not understand how blind spots are supposed to work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's tough. He's a challenge. 80,000 and... Whoa, red bear's claw, fang, helm, iron... <laughs> Rivet armor. It's a lot of cool stuff. Let's see what we got, and then we'll wrap up there. So, that is an actual weapon. Claw of a great red bear, wielded without modification by red bear, whose name is lost to madness. After killing the great red bear in a blood-soaked bout, he became fascinated by the untainted glory of its naked strength. I wish to be a bear, no more, and no less. Red bear hunt slaughters prey with sharp claws and a great swipe of the arm. The attack creates a vacuum which deals continuous damage. Repeated inputs allow for two follow-up attacks. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty fun. The cheek guards are shaped after lion fangs, even though he likes bears. Missed opportunity there. Perhaps his fascination with the untamed strength of the wild stemmed from his past as a red mane. Okay. So he might actually know our good friend... Uh, was it Ansbach? Ansbach? Are they the red main? No, Freya. Freya is the red main. Very cool. All right. Well, that seems like that is it for that area, which means ancient ruined base. Oh, that's actually what it's called. The next time we'll be heading deeper into this new map fragment. Looks like we might have some ruins to explore and a whole lot else to come. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying and I, in fact, will see you next time.